Praise God. Welcome to the word for today. Uh, on today, the 17th of May, 2023. And the word for today is use the word of God. Amen. Let's go straight uh, to the Bible and read the verse for today. I'm going to take it from Hebrews chapter 4, verse number 12. It says, For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Praise the Lord. Now, every uh, army has got weapons when they go into battle. They have different kinds of weapons. Now, why the Bible uses a comparison of the Word of God, saying that it's sharper than any two-edged sword, is because at the time of writing, um, the two-edged sword was the weapon which was extremely effective at that point in time for the the Roman Empire at that time. That was one of the most deadliest weapons. But here he's showing us, uh, the Apostle Paul, when he's writing Hebrews, is showing us that the Word of God itself is more dangerous than even the deadliest weapon. Amen. So we have to learn to use the Word of God in everything that we do in life. Wherever there's a problem, the answer to that problem is the Word of God. What does God's Word say about the situation? That's what you should ask yourself. And whatever God's Word says about the situation, that's what you should stand on and that's what you should speak. Isn't it? Let's read Luke chapter 21 verse 33 because Jesus said something amazing about His Word. Let's read what the Bible says. Luke 21 33 it says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Amen. And this is Jesus who was the Word made flesh. He said that everything else will pass away, but His Word will not pass away. So you have got an eternal, uh, indestructible weapon, which is the Word of God. What has God said? What, is, what does the Spirit of God say about the situation that you may be facing? Speak the Word and use the Word as a weapon. If you are trusting God for healing, 1 Peter 2.24, by the stripes of Jesus Christ, you were healed. Whatever you desire, Mark 11.22.23, whatever you desire, ask. Believe, when you pray, believe that you receive that thing and you shall have it. Those are two powerful uh, portions of scripture which can be used throughout. Amen. So just use the word of God. Speak the word of God against any problem, against any trouble. And you will see the blessed results. Amen. So just take this declaration now and say, I declare that I will use the Word of God to chart my course in life. I will never be put down by any challenge. But whatever challenge comes my way, I will use the Word of God to speak against that challenge. And I am an overcomer. I believe that Jesus has already paid for everything for me to live a victorious life. Therefore, I will continue to stand and use the word of God to bring victory in my life and the lives of many others. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for listening to this word. I'll be back again tomorrow with another awesome word for the day. Have a blessed day. Amen.